Hello guys and welcome to a new devlog video for uh, the 2D platformer game that I'm working on, Quantum Ruins, and today I'm super excited because I'm finally building a level. So I have never worked with tiled before, but I saw it almost everywhere whenever you look for how to build a level on Google or on YouTube. So I really wanted to try tiled out. And I wanna say that the tool is great to use. I very easily imported the two tile set that I have. Uh, so the jungle tile set and the ruins tile set that I drew in my previous devlog. This is more of a test for me to see what can be done with tiled and what I can do with the current tile set that I have. I like my platformer to be a metroidvania, so the design of the level is actually very important. One of the things that I love the most about those games is that you have different paths that you can follow and you can navigate the platform from, you know, different point of views. And also, of course, the more you unlock new abilities, the different, the ways that you can explore uh, the different areas. So here I'm trying to build a vertical area. And what I'd like to have is sort of like a cave area down where you start and have some ruins here and there that leads you to another area, which is going to be further in the upper area of this map here. I'm also playing around with different layers and adjusting the transparency so that I can get the illusion that you're within a cave and also I can use this trick so that it just doesn't look like there are some rocks floating around. I'm also trying to recreate a somehow natural environment in a sense that I don't want it to be too blocky. So I'm adding slopes, the flowers here and there, some plants, um, plus the ruin style set. Let's jump straight to the level. So you start in this um, cave area and you can go up there and there, there is a uh, an opening with an endless fall <laughs> that kills you instantly. Um, here on the side, as you can see, I added some ruins that tells you that, hey, there must be something here. And you can go up and explore and go out of the cave. As you can see, I added the extra layer so it looks like the rocks are all connected. Um, next here, there are some random columns. Um, it's still a little bit empty, I want to say. There is no unique path that you can take. I have a point A and point B, but you can go around from here or you can just uh, climb your way up or, well, wall jump your way up. Then here I added the columns to test whether you could jump on them easily and a moving platform. And so here I'd like to add um, some enemies and of course some breakable tiles. Um, I've already started working on breakable tiles which are gonna make the game one billion times more fun to play. And yeah, as you can see here in the end, you can find this small statue and you could continue to another area um, further on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Have you used Tiled? Do you like it? Do you find it useful to use with Godot? I had a little bit of a hard time when I first used it because I couldn't make the collision layers work, but at the end I managed to do it. And yeah, as usual, I hope you guys have a great day and if you feel like chatting, uh, don't forget to um, join the Discord server and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, okay? <laughs> Bye!